Hello, everybody. Well, I am going to give show you. Um, I said I would come back and show you how I cut out my my um, dies. Now, um, first, I wanted to say that um, I this is nothing new. These are just things that I've picked up. Uh, some of them I have. Um, picked up on uh, YouTube uh, in the past, but I thought I would pass along um, again, because you know, sometimes we all need a refresher course. So first I'm going to show you, um, I'm using my Gemini. Um, I have a Big Shot, um, but the calibration um, kind of went off on it, so it doesn't cut as well as it used to. I also have a, um, uh, what is that thing called? <laughs> um, I can't think of what it's called. It's by Craftwell, but, um, and, and I love it, don't get me wrong. They're both electric, but I found that, Jim, if you're going to buy a, a, a unit, I have tried, um, like I said, I have tried the um, Big Shot, which is crank. You use it with your hands. Then I have tried um, the, uh, let me go check and see what the name of that is real quick. Sorry about that. It's called the Cut and Boss. Now, um, it's electric, and um, it does cut bigger. I think it's like eight, eight uh, across. Um, I do like it, but I noticed that I've had to use a lot of um, additional um, papers in there to cut. Now, once I got the Gemini, I was like, expecting it to maybe be like the cat and boss uh-uh it is so nice this thing cuts like butter it's just and it's quiet uh, I mean I mean it as quiet as it can be so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I cut delicate stuff like this okay now a lot of times we have a tendency to put something like that okay so it would be, when it goes in the machine, it would go that way, right? No, that's not how you want to cut something delicate like this or something that has a lot of, of um, design in it. You want to make sure that you turn it this way. And I'll tell you why. Because when you cut it the other way, the machine has to do a lot more when it's see when it's this way I don't explain very well I'm sorry I, I apologize when it's this way it has to cut out all of this design but if you turn it this way it's able to cut out a smaller portion at a time and go down and I just find that it it makes a big difference and make, in fact, I think it makes a huge difference um, in um, whether it cuts out the first time around or not. And I found that even with the Big Shot. So it's not with the, just with these machines. It's with the Big Shot as well and the Cuddle Bug because I've had a Cuddle Bug as well. So it's really important to make sure that it doesn't have to cut a lot of, of um, design out as it goes through. So um, that's just a little um, something to um, think about. So I'm just going to cut this out real quick here. And show you you can hear how quiet that is. Really nice. I love how quiet it is.
and I would say it takes me 15 to 20 seconds to go through. So, whoops. Hmm. I don't know why that didn't cut out up there at the top. That's weird didn't cut out the sides or um, the top. It's the first time I've cut this die, so yeah, it has. No, it doesn't cut out. It doesn't cut out. That's why. <laughs> well, I guess that wouldn't be the reason. So it is a, um, it only cuts out uh, certain parts. That's kind of different, isn't it? Huh. That's very interesting. I'm going to have to look at that. But see how, how, how nice it cut out? I mean, that's just one pass. That's all I had to do. One pass, and it's done. So think about it when you're going to cut your dies. Think about making sure that you um, don't make the machine have to do so much cutting uh, intricate stuff as at, at one time. Now. I'm going to show you my other little trick here, and let's see, I'm going to use this die here, let's see if I can find a piece of paper down here that in the junk stuff that's going to be big enough to, to go across that. Um, here's a piece of it, oh, that's going to be cut on. Here's one. Not very pretty, but uh, okay, so let me show you a little thing I do. So. Normally, I if I'm gonna cut out a lot of dies, I'll you know do this. Okay. Well, I used to use tape to hold my dies down or hold my paper down. But what I do is I take. Okay, let's say I'm gonna cut this die out again. I put that there. Oh, actually, I'd put it the other way, but. So I put it right here, and that's holding my paper down. Now, the only reason you, the way you, only reason you would not want to do this is it's going to leave an indention in this paper. So you want to make sure it's not next to your die. That would be the only, the only reason that you would, you know. So let's just try cutting this all out again. Um, it's really great when you have a lot of little dies because you can, if you want to cut out you know, all in different colors, you can like use a, a small die to, to lay on top of the other piece of paper and so forth and so on. And um, I find it helps immensely. So I will show you that. <clears throat> so this one cut out, whoops, stuck. So this one cut out. Look how look at that. Look how well that die cut out. Of course, those don't cut out. So, but look at that. Isn't that awesome? I mean, you know, it's just um, it makes a big difference on when you uh, go to put your dies that if you put them so that it just just doesn't have to cut so much. Okay. So, and then here's this die again. So. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that real quick. Probably took me forever, but um, there it is. That's how I um, cut out my um, dies. So thanks everybody for watching. Bye.